Hey universe, how the heck do I get rid of the ego? You don't. The ego will mislead you into believing you've got to get rid of emotions, thoughts, even itself. But you don't have to get rid of anything. In fact, you've got to face everything. And funny enough, once you face it, embrace it, truly choose to see it with loving awareness, that is when it dissolves. Desiring to get rid of something implies that you have resistance to it. Wanting to get rid of something implies it has power over you. All feelings just want to be felt. All thoughts just want to be seen without judgment. Just seen. It's that simple. Remember, all of these things are not you. When you finally dedicate yourself to looking at everything, you have freed yourself. You have disempowered the ego. And when you disempower something, you are no longer you running are from single. it feeling a little lonely this video is for you so the longer we've been single we tend to forget the challenges that come with being in a relationship and the longer we're single the ego likes to make us think that all of our pain and problems would go away if we were just in one but as soon as we get into one we remember so clearly just how hard it is to have a sustainable, healthy relationship. Here's the thing I want you to remember. Relationships don't necessarily take the pain away. The only thing that takes the pain away is a healing of the things that cause you pain. It's not the absence of other people that causes pain in our lives, but rather what we do with them when they are there. Habits to improve your body. Morning edition. Drinking water when you first wake up aids in boosting your metabolism and helps eliminate toxins. Stretching slash exercise. Exercise allows you to get the blood flowing and to focus on your big day ahead. Eating breakfast. Breakfast is the most important meal of the day. It aids in digestion and much more. Ways to increase your confidence. Part two, exercise. And I don't mean one day a week. Try doing it consistently for four times a week and watch your confidence. It's a thief in the night to come and grab you. It can creep up inside you and consume you. A disease of the mind that can control you. It's too close to comfort. next 30 days, I want you to do this one simple thing. Every morning, I want you to write down three things that you like about yourself. Because we can list off a million things that we hate about ourselves, but let's start working on what we like about ourselves. So take on this challenge. Trying to figure out what your kids will wear like me? This makes it so easy. Grab two storage bins, write out the days of the week. Pick out your outfits on Sunday, shoes and socks. Instantly a better morning. I just want to let it go for the night. That would be the best therapy for me. Hey, hey.
Day 13, making a better version of myself every day for 50 days straight. It was freezing cold outside today, and I started making excuses not to run. But then I realized the only thing stopping me is my mental fear of discomfort. Physically, I can still go out and run. So realize that your mind is your biggest barrier. Learn to defeat it and stop making excuses. Taking off a skirt, let her wear my shirt for she leave. I'ma need my shirt back. Nigga, you know how Wherever you go, I'm always with you.